Hello everyone. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of the genomics to proteins or G2P portal and its capabilities. It is a discovery portal to link genetic screening outputs such as genetic variations or perturbation scores on protein sequence and structure. The first capability offered by the G2P portal is to view and download pre-mapped genetic data on proteins. For using this capability, you will input the gene identifier or the name of the protein in the search bar. The second capability of the portal is to enable users to map their own set of variations or scores from their gene of interest to the three-dimensional structure of the protein. For this particular capability, you will need to access the interactive mapping menu on the menu bar. Let's explore the first capability now, which will be the focus of this tutorial. We will search for the gene CDKL5. This release of the G2P portal allows to search for genes recorded in the AGNC database. On the gene page, first you will find some general information about the gene of your interest and some relevant external links for example, you can see what gene families your gene of interest belongs to. Followed by the information about gene, you will see an overview of the protein encoded by the gene. The protein name, the canonical protein isoform according to the Uniprot database, and a list of all protein isoform. By default, the portal will display the sequence of the canonical protein isoform. To see the sequence of a different protein isoform, you can click on the isoform identifier. Below the sequence viewer, the portal will display features of amino acid residues, such as the secondary structure information, physical chemical properties, sequence annotations from Uniprot database, and also annotations of post-translational modification sites from Phosphocyte Plus database. By default, you will see the features for the first amino acid residue, but to see the similar features for other residues, double click on the amino acid code on the viewer. The next segment of this page is to establish a mapping between gene, transcript, and protein isoforms. When you expand this header, you will see a table that tells you which protein isoform has been translated from which mRNA transcript. The asterisks indicate the canonical protein isoform and the canonical transcript. You can download this table in TSV or CSV format. Next segment is for pre-mapped genetic variation data on protein sequence. This release of the G2P portal maps data from the genome aggregation database on NOMAD, CleanVar database, and from human gene mutation database on protein sequence and structure. To view the data, you first need to select a transcript or protein isoform. If for a selected transcript data are not available, a message will be displayed to indicate that. By expanding the subheaders under a database for different types of mutations, you can, you can view them mapped on the selected protein isoform sequence. For example, here the highlighted residues indicate that a clean bar mutation is present on these positions. You can now apply a filter on data to view only pathogenic or likely pathogenic mutations. You can double click on the highlighted residue to see further details about the variation. For example, arginine at position 31 here has a synonymous mutation on it and also a missense mutation. By expanding the protein consequence information, you can see that this is a pathogenic missense mutation associated with early infantile epilepsy. Note that you can view this data in a tabular format by clicking this link. And also then can download this data as CSV or TSV format. 
We will now collapse this segment back and we'll take you to the last segment on this page, which is to view variations or mutations on protein structure. The G2P portal displays mutations on both experimental structure from the protein data bank and also predictive structure from the alpha fold protein structure database, which includes structural data for the full human proteome. I will now click on the Mollard viewer for the PDB code 4BGQ. Note that G2P portal integrates two different structure viewer in it, WebPyMol and Mollard. And I'm going to take you to the Mollard now. Mollard is a concurrent sequence and structure viewer. On the left side of this page, you will find the variation mapping selections component which will allow you to map mutations on this selected structure. I will first select the database clean bar and then the canonical transcript. Next, the mutation type missense. Now, as orange spheres, you can see the positions of the missense mutations from clean bar database mapped onto the protein structure. By hovering over the mutations positions, you can see also the exact substitution and the associated phenotype. You can also apply a filter on the data from here that is to view only pathogenic or likely pathogenic mutations. After done with the mapping, you can also download the mapping as PyMol compatible format or CSV formatted file. You can later open this downloaded file in your local installation of the PyMol for downstream inspection of the mutations on the structure. Well, with that, I have finished introducing the gene lookup page of the G2P portal to you. For further information, you can go to the about page and also to the documentation page of the portal. For help with navigation, we recommend users to check the portal sitemap. Additionally, we encourage users to give us any feedback or questions by using this feedback form from the top right corner of the menu bar. For a similar overview of the second capability, which is the interactive mapping, please check out the next tutorial. Thank you.